Ho! Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and we are back here in Skyrim, and we are right where we left off in front of the Dark Brotherhood door. Oh man, I don't remember the answer to this. I hope there's only one answer. Uh, um, the loot. No drums. Screaming? Some kind of choir with chanting. <laughs> Silence, my brother. You know, I think that would be more creepy if it was done differently. But that voice is not creepy. In and of itself. So, yeah. Anyway, Astrid, hello! Hi! Ah, at last. I hope you found the place alright. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. Oh. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. I'm honored to be part of the family, yes. Uh, when do I get to kill someone? Remain silent. Mm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The oh no. Brotherhood. I don't have that much space. Will serve you well in all your endeavors. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new fa- I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract. <sighs> Great, now I'm over encumbered. Gee, freaking thanks. Oh, I can take all of this stuff. Oh. Ooh, read. I'm gonna take that book. Is that stealing? I take it? Nope, it just says take. Alright, let me come over here and drop this stuff off and get Fandale to pick it up. Fa Fandale? Is he not allowed in here? Is that a thing? Is it just for now, or is it forever? Um, I need to go and give this to him. Fendel! Hello! Could you just tell the door to be silent, my brother, and, and join me in here, please? I don't like these people. They kind of scare me. Hi. Alright. Let's see. You need to take... That, 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 that. <laughs> oh my god, I have a problem. Hello, I am Angry Hippie Lady, and I have a loot problem. It's not that I need more of it, it's that I need to stop looting. Because it is holding me back and ruining my life. Let's just give him this stuff too. That. Hi. I need you to do something for me. Hey. All right. What is it? I what clicked on that a couple times. Not okay. for you. Not for anyone. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. There's a few of these things I cannot actually give to him. Actually, there's a lot of these things I cannot give to him. Take okay, that. Got it. Take that. Okay. Uh, take that. Take that. Take that. Alright. Anything else? Everything else. Oh, wait. Let me just pick up the things that are stolen. And then you can pick up the rest. Wait. There's something. There we go. This is really difficult. <laughs> I've just made this more difficult for myself. I need a companion that is willing to steal things. Is there one of those? I've got your back. Do they come oh, in that what variety? What do you need? I don't know. I've never had a companion that's willing to steal. Okay, got it. Like, I think I've had one actually leave okay, my service because I stole too much. Okay, got it. 
Um, but I've never had one that's willing to steal for me. Anything else? Nope. All right, you stay there, um, because you won't talk to a door because you're gonna suck at life. And let's go back in here. And hopefully they don't give me anything else, because dear lord. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contact. I don't want to talk to you. Again, to the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mom and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so cute, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! Who do I need to talk to? Speak to Nazir. Ah! So, you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. He has new shoes on. Um, remain silent. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your target, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Astra said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Uh, sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Okay. Um, I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narthi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. All right. Happy hunting. Indeed. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. Your wife? Um, you know nothing about me or my abilities. It's nice to meet you. How do I know his name? I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. Wow. What can you tell me about yourself? I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are moonborn. You are wolf. So, you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh yes, I was once brother to the companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, deals differently. How does he know that right then. I'm a werewolf? You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. <laughs> um, okay. I don't need to know anything about these people. Okay. Uh, Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm Redgar. I figured that out. As I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, it's kinda hard to miss. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. All right. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to it. I need this nightshade for a quest, guys. So, uh, don't get mad at me, please. Thanks. Awesome. You're beautiful people. And you all have sparkling personalities. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose-your-victim gag with you. 
Huh, I love that one. Don't let my appearance scare you off. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. The vampires intended to keep one remarkably correct. Gross. Until next time, sister. That is just, I do not like. Will this thing attack me? Nope. I guess this is like our friend or something. Gaston Belfort. Ooh. Hastily scribble note. Kind of want to see what it is. Books. Uh, there it is. My scribbling tools are lost, and I have no time for a lengthy entry. Anyway, it's taken weeks, but I finally found it. The Sanctuary of the Dark Brotherhood, one of them anyway, in Skyrim under uh, Forest Road. I've been watching them, the assassins, their comings and goings. The fools have no idea they are being observed. My next goal is to somehow make it past the sinister black door into the sanctuary itself. I don't have time to even think about the dangers. The truth must be known. See if I can talk to you about this note. My targets make the mistake of not perceiving me as a threat. Last mistake they ever made. Alright. Okay. I'll just uh, take the stuff off your hands. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're using it anyway. Can I disenchant anything? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Sure. Let's disenchant it. Might as well. Gets us some level stuff. Ooh, let's not walk into the wall. Ooh, did I just hear somebody? Aha! I could brew some potions for you. Yes, yes, you're the doof. Can I? Can I use this? And can you not be a jerk? Okay, thanks. Fortify health. Restore health. That's what I want. Uh, that thing is making a lot of noise. Eh, yeah, oh wait, no, yeah. Butterfly? D oh, it's the uh, orange butterfly. Okay, it's not blue butterfly then. I did a little something. Just making sure that I don't use any of the stuff that I need for quests. I'm gonna end up selling a lot of this. Just going to ingredients. I need to figure out some stuff, other stuff for ingredients. Potion failed. That's fine. I don't need these potions. I don't. I need death bell. I just wanted to see if it would give me anything new. Um, this. Nope. Oatmeal. Is that what I just made? No, it's not. Okay. This. Nope. That is not a thing. I'm going to cut this out um, just because I don't want to bore you guys. So I will bring you back in a moment. Alright. So I'm back after like three days. But I'm back. Um, and I met this guy. Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong need. But nothing gives my toe but peace. I've been looking for an amulet of RK to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now. I just sold it. I can't find one. I'll find one. Thank you. I just sold mine. It's all in the swing. Let me show you. I really don't care. Um, exit. Thank you. All right. Just sold that. Oh my gosh. I went on a big selling spree recently. All right. What is this? Okay. Got to get into here. I bought like thirty lockpicks before I started this too. Oh, oh, dang it. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'm supposed to steal something from in here. Oh, it marks it. Okay, good. I'm assuming that there's going to be people in here. Oh, what's up here? 
Okay. I'm not gonna push my luck. I mean, this is my first time stealing something for the Thieves Guild. Alright. Um, and let's see. What else can we do while we're here? Talk to Yorleaf? How about no? Shine of Azura. What is that? Make changes in the ledger. Oh, I gotta go to... Okay, I can't do that right now. Because I'm not about to walk 500 miles. Oh, I gotta do that. I still gotta do that. Man. Go to Shrine of Talos. Yeah, let's go to Markarth. Why not? Sure, this is just a let's finish up this episode kind of thing. <laughs> uh. Uh. Where? <laughs> Songs. Oh, no, not J. M. Speak to Verilis about Hall of the Dead. Investigate Hall of the Dead. And go to Shrine of Talos. Okay. Well, I don't know where the Shrine of Talos is. And I've still got this thing of Debella. Are you? You're not the guy. Where's the guy? I stole this for somebody. Oh. I found the Shrine of Talos. Hello. Hello. You're a person. Sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll do. What are you talking about? You want answers? And so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. You want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. What do you know about Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay. Uh, who is Waylon, and where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Uh, who are the Forsworn? You've looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who was in the North. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. I've gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. Okay, you... Let me know as soon as you found anything. You have some issues, and I'm gonna... I keep on forgetting to do this. Uh, general? No, not general stats. That's not what I want. Settings. Audio. Voice. We'll just bump it up one. And hope that that helps some. I've been noticing in the videos that the their voices are a little low. Um. Looks like you weren't followed. Good. Yeah. It's a little bit louder, not too much louder, but hopefully it's good enough. I don't know. Let's just hope. Um, so I gotta go down to the Warrens and see if there's anything down there, hopefully, maybe. Now, where are the Warrens? It's not my first time here, but it's been a while. Is this it? Aha, it is. Can I help you? Oh, can you? I don't know. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Did you know Waylon? Oh, yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. I need the key to Waylon's room. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. 
It's important, trust me. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. Awesome. Um what are the warrants? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. So only the poor or the sick live here? That's right. Welcome to Markarth. Thank the divines you can choose to live somewhere else. I will eventually buy a house here, though. Uh -huh. God, I love being able to hit escape to get out of conversations. It's just so nice. Is there anything in here? There shouldn't be, but figured I'd check. Get out of the way. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. Don't know anyone here who doesn't have rattles or ataxia. Okay. Well then, this place sounds horrible. And it's caving in, too, which is not good. Elf trees. Oh, so that guy lives down here. He lives right across from Waylon. Why am I doing this for him again? He lives right across from him. Take that. Take that. Okay. I will read his note. Jeez, just wait, game. Uh, not... Not that, it's in books. To do, do. You've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow, you will know what to do. In. Find out who in is. Okay, well. How do I do that? <laughs> uh, do you know who in is? The Warrens isn't a place nope. for your type. What do you want? Well, maybe I'm not the type you think I am. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Oh, really? You first. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. This is so Ugh. Why do we have to resort to violence in everything that we do? I mean, I know this is Skyrim and blah 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 blah, blah but why do we have to be violent people? I mean, this is just, this is bar- oh, this is barbaric. Can I get him in a corner so I can not have to worry about him running away from my punches? There, I got my stamina out of the way. You're gonna make me punch Fandel, and it's gonna be a bad day for both of us. I love how the guards don't care. The guards are like, whatever. Heck, they would probably be in the background just cheering us on, being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting bets on who is gonna win. There is somebody st st uh, standing there, just watching. Well, stop walking away. <laughs> they all back up. They're like, nope, nope. You guys do get out. You know what? We're we're not involved. <laughs> yeah, take that. Take take that big punch to the face. God, why you have so much armor? You made you piece of pit bait. I won. Talk, or I send you to the gods. I was sent by Nepos to those. The old man hands out the orders. Nepos. Who are you, and why were you watching? I spilled just a bit of metal, and Mullish takes it out of my hide. I'm having trouble with... Oh. You having trouble with Mull... He's a damn tyrant. Yep. Always being goaded by the Silverbloods to get more work out of us. They pay us next to nothing. We get beaten if we make a mistake. And where are our kind Nord rulers? What are they doing? What if I talk to Moles? You're gonna try to talk sense into that orc? Sure. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, okay. Who else works here? Me and Hathrasil mostly. Mullish barks at us all day, but I wouldn't call that honest work. A few people in the Warrens used to work here. The game broke some bones a while back. Altris quit. Kareen is too sick. 
Altris, that's how you say his name. Uh, did you know Wyland? The Forsworn? That's right, I'll say it. We all knew. Even that fat-headed slave-driving Mullish knew. Just ask him about it. Ugh, another honest man lost in all this madness. And for what? Okay, well, I guess tell me about him. We've lost a lot of good people to that damn crusade. Drive out the Nords, they say. Well, the Nord ain't driven out. Alright. Good day. I over You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm looking into the market attack. Oh, yes, Waylon. Bastard could have at least gone crazy after we made our silver quota. Uh, I want you to leave Omlung alone. What? Are you telling me how to treat my workers? Do you have any idea how much metal the Silver Blood family wants us to smelt? You're working him to death. Lay off. All right, all right. You sound like a damn Legion officer, but I get it. I'll give him a break. This better not hurt our quota. All right. Um, I had questions about Waylon. Whatever you want to know, I don't care. I run a smelter. That's it. Uh, you must know something. Right. I did notice something odd the last time we handed out the pay. Little extra slip of paper for Waylon. Took it right to his room after he got it. All right. Um. Do you own this? What? No. Thonar Silverblood owns it. He owns everything in Markarth. But he hands all the paperwork over to Nepos the Nose to finish. That old man's back is heavy with burden. Okay, so Nepos. Fight well. You too. Nepos is now f uh, showing up in different places. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.